a year aging in the dryer. Yeah, this thing's gotta be pretty dang good. I remember making this last year. I taught y'all how to make mead in a dryer, which, I mean, I, if you haven't done that yet, I don't know what you've been doing, but you're missing out. Clearly, this is the way to go. It's been a year though. All right, let's taste this guy. If you uh, don't really know what I'm talking about, last year I showed you how to make mead in a dryer, and honestly, one of the game changers for it is to use your dryer sheets. I think that was a huge game changer for me when I first started really experimenting with it. Um, obviously, Kvike yeast, that's also a pretty solid thing to do. And then, I mean, once you bottle it, just throw it in your dryer and just leave it running. And, you know, aging and that spinning process, I don't remember what article it was. It might have been like a brew philosophy. I don't recall. But they talked about, you know, in the dryer, um, there's something that happens with gravity. You know, gravity does add some aging impartation uh, on it. And so I think that's what's happening. Plus your heat, of course. So I kind of go low to medium heat and you just let it run. And um, normally it works pretty well. I haven't had a lot of problems. Let's find out though. A year later, what's this mead like? See, it looks pretty good. Maybe those uh, dryer sheets are helping the clarity too. Very fruity. I remember this guy ended up pretty sweet. That's definitely sweet. Woo, a lot of honey there. The tannin is coming from that sweetness. There's a little bit of a... What kind of... I gotta figure out what dryer sheet I used. Oh, oh. Duh. Snuggle. That's what it is. That's that. That's an extra like fragrance and floral side that really. That's it. That's it. I might have gone a little too heavy. When in that aging, I threw I think four or five of these in into there. Probably should have gone one or two. I think that's where I went wrong. But it, I mean, it looks pretty dang good. If you haven't, if you haven't tried it, go for it, you know? What can go wrong? You know, you, you throw a glass bottle into the, the dryer. Uh, I kind of prefer this kind of dryer as it just works better. It's older school, you know? A lot of you ask why I have a dryer. That's why, you gotta keep the dryer local. Otherwise, how are you gonna age your mead properly? Go make some mead. Use your dryer, maybe. Or washing machine if you're really super adventurous and uh, We'll see you next year. Cheers.